Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope. Sagittarius, in this video, we're going to cover an important aspect that is going to cover the entire 2021 and in the month of May, you are experiencing a little bit of preview of that. We are looking at an aspect called Saturn Square Uranus. I introduced this in the Saturn in Aquarius and Saturn Square Uranus video, which I'll link it in the comments for you to look at. This is a big change in the evolution of our society that will come about in 2021 let's see how this translates to us we are talking about it right now because sun is shining in the exact house where uranus is there for the next six years for you and that is your house of health and work routines Sagittarius, you have fresh energy infused into your house of work and health right now, which means that we have the energy and the impetus to pursue the kind of work that we truly want to do and bring about certain health shifts that are good for us. This season asks from us, are we really taking care of ourselves, our body, our living healthy habits? Are we taking care of our health? Are we securing our employment? And as a zodiac sign, before last year, Sagittarius, you might have been in a job, in a profession, in a routine of work, which might have been traditional in nature. As a sign, you tend to have stable job or j jobs that we know are lucrative. But what happened since 2019, and this started to some extent from 2018 itself, Uranus came in your house of work routines. Wherever Uranus comes, we experience sudden shifts and changes for more freedom and authenticity. You might have initiated a change in how you handle your career and that might have started from 2018 itself. Uranus had a very brief touchdown into this house in 2018 into which it fully came from March 2019 and it will stay there till 2026. The aim is to release old way of handling your work and introduce you to the innovation that sits within you, the freedom that sits within you and imbibe that in your daily routines. More freedom in the work that you're doing more work that is desirable for you to do but uranus creates a little bit of restlessness which means that a nine to five does not appeal to us anymore work needs to be very very engaging we tend to shift jobs if they're not engaging us or we tend to bring about shifts in our own current job if we are not satisfied with the content of the job itself this is the time when you might be looking at doing that, finding work that you feel is useful, finding work that is more in line with who you are as a person. We start engaging in work that is more forward looking and that is the way to go as well. We should proactively be looking to bring about the changes in the kind of projects that we are involved in, in the kind of career that we are engaged in. We are forming a strong connection between our body and mind. We are recognizing that the way we are in our thought process, our body gets impacted by that. So if our work environment or the place of work is really enclosed, it is not giving us the freedom of thought, it is not giving us independence, it is not giving us space to express our unique ideas, then that affects our body and health as well. We start realizing that we need to get out of the old mode of functioning when it comes to work. Work needs to be more engaging. There needs to be more variety. There needs to be more inventiveness. More importantly, it might become a little bit difficult to work under authority. You need unconventional approach to projects. You need lively exchange of ideas, but not bound by with each other. You might experience that if you're working right now, you might be experiencing a little bit of stress if you have to be with people in the meeting, even though right now nobody is sitting together physically, we are socially distancing. But you might have experienced that from last year itself. 
sitting together with people and doing things in a traditional fashion will not interest you anymore routines will not interest you anymore you will create upheaval which you'll feel are happening from outside in order to shift the changes that are happening if you're not proactive about this energy we will feel the stress in our body and in our health i'm sorry to say but this connection of body and mind becomes really really strong if we are not given the freedom to shift what we are doing in the direction of the new in the direction of more freedom and air to your views so you have to sort of go into some new field and that is where saturn is going to help you and that might have been a process that has already started you might have already shifted the job left the job or decided to change the job or get engaged in projects that are very very different from what you have done before and even if all of us cannot leave the jobs if we are in the job you might look to completely shift the way you do your current job your communication at the job would become more open you would want to speak up more you would want to be more proactive in your approach to the projects you would want to take unconventional approach to projects and the obvious addition is of technology adding more area of technology interacting with people your coworkers more through technology than face to face even after this whole thing is hopefully bes- behind us you would want to do that you would want to come up with some proactive new ideas which you want to use and implement in your daily project and life you will consciously move towards a new way of being and that will happen through developing a new skill set the last two and a half years saturn has been in your house of finances saturn has been in your house of finances giving you the discipline and to some extent the restriction to create a solid foundation of your financial abundance it might have created even some restriction when it comes to financing because saturn is a is a strict uh, is a strict parent it's he's like a strict parent he comes and says that there's a carrot and stick ap- approach first it wants you to do the work and then it gives the reward So the last two and a half years it's possible that you might have been creating the foundation of long term resources financial resources skill set but that has been the process of creating the foundation and now this year with jupiter over here you might be looking to reap the rewards of all of that saturn has now moved to restructure your communication and commercial house from march of this year all the way to about 2023 you will be looking at redefining how you communicate the skill sets that you have learned you'll be looking to market to sell you'll be looking to acquire skill sets that are required to to sort of sell what you have learned to others this is marketing this is media this is redefining how you think and talk and that is going to be all about the new because it's happening in the zodiac sign of aquarius as i mentioned in 2020 and beyond video your road to success and your road to creating wealth for the next uh for the next 20 years is going to be through your communication skills through your ability to connect through your ability to quickly come up the curve and become the master of that skill set and then sell it to other people you are acquiring a skill set that will require you to create mental discipline mind needs to be focused and then you create a long term commercial success from the abilities and the skill set financial skill set that you might have acquired but you're shifting your career in line with that you would have to include different uniques the traditional model of working may not work for you anymore you might need to add a different routine when it comes to your work we'll have to manage a little bit of nervous energy over here because if you don't feel free in what you're doing you will have this bottled up nervous energy which will circulate within your mind and it does affect our immunity 
you might have experienced that already. But the good thing is with Uranus in your house of health, as quickly as any allergy, any issue of immunity comes, the quickly it gets healed as well. And there's a strong connection, strong psychological underpinning of any mental stress that you might be, any physical stress that you might be feeling. So if you get an allergy, it's usually because of something that's going on in the mind. If you get some sort of bout of, fe not fever, but like if you get cold or something, you, you know there is an underpinning related to thought process or a psychological factor. And I'm not saying we should not... Uh, go to the doctor especially in in the current times for something like that but there is a stronger connection more than usual when Uranus is here it makes it very very evident to you so this restructuring of the mind that Saturn is going to do is going to help you in your health as well Saturn will in some ways restructure your way of thinking your way of thinking, your way of communication, you, the way you market yourself to people is going to change. It will give you the discipline to sort of reformat your personal pitch. How do you pitch yourself to other people? What kind of knowledge you have? It is going to give you the discipline to sort of come up the curve, become sort of the master of a trade which is of commercial nature over the course of next two and a half years. The information that you'll be collecting now, the skill set that you'll be collecting now, especially the commercial skill set, the communication skill set, the network that you'll be creating right now, that is going to become the grounding of your long term career success. Learning period over here will sort of require you to use your courage, use your courage to leave the old security to some extent where sometimes we are more reliant on ourselves. But over here, you will be taught to rely on people other than you. You will be required to use people in your exact community, your local community. It could be the people who you work with. It could be the people who, you, who are your neighbors. It could be your sibling. You will be required to leverage all the resources in your immediate surrounding versus looking for support from far away land. And this is also where North Node is pointing. North Node is, uh, North Node Rahu is like karmic point where all the eclipses will happen for the next 18 months. So you'll have fated sh shifts coming where North Node is. And North Node is in your house of relationships. The next 18 months you'll have fated changes in your partnership, learning to interact well. In This is like the next level of growth in your partnerships and relationships. The road to success is to communicate, interact and be more with other people. And as a sign that is your strength. You are a person who is the life of a party. You are a person who is able to engage with people effectively. Who loves the lively exchange of ideas. So this is leveraging of your success. But there is a slight difference here especially in the north node shifting side signs because south node is coming in your sign where, where south node is we have to release something so south node in sagittarius will require you to release your own boundaries and to some extent i'm sorry to say that but it happens to all of us when south node comes in our sign releasing a little bit of our ego in relationships in interactions with other you'll get more flexible in your relationships with North Node in your house of relationships because your source of growth will be on how well do you interact with other people. You'll be focused on a, maybe having multiple people who are your business partners. You might need to get people who are different from you to be your partners. And this could hold for your personal relationships as well. Your growth will come from other people. You will learn from other people. Your knowledge is not theoretical knowledge that you're acquiring right now that is going to come, come handy for the next 20 years. The knowledge that you're acquiring from your immediate surroundings, from your partner is practical. It's commercial. It's financial. It is, it is something which is ahead of time. And if Saturn was not here, this would just be a restlessness in your existing career. 
Saturn is telling you to make something more out of this restlessness that you're feeling in your career. It is asking you to break certain rules and look ahead of time, look ahead of trends. It is asking you to have more faith in the brain waves that you're having because what happens, uh, Sagittarius, and uh, last uh, two years back, we had an eclipse in your house of commercial, uh, commercial house. So it's possible that you're ahead of time ideas. Maybe they were not so successful two, two and a half years back. Maybe they were shot down as way being way too ahead of time. But with Saturn over here, it tries to make something useful and gainful out of innovation, out of your innovative ideas, out of the intuition that you have, out of your financial skill set, out of your communication skill set, your creative thinking, the fun exploration of ideas that Sagittarius so loves to do. Saturn gives a structure to that. Saturn gives a structure to create some practical relationships with your immediate surroundings that help you, that guide you, that become part of your commercial success. This is also the house of self-made wealth. The skill sets that you're acquiring right now, they will become the source of your self-made wealth. Doesn't mean that all of us will have our individual businesses, but in our individual capacity, this is when you become valuable as an identity. So the skill sets that you're adding to yourself right now, the learning that you're getting from people, which is street smart uh, learning, which is commercial skill set, ability to sell ahead of time, technical skills that you're gaining right now, they are going to become part of making you commercially viable as a person. So it's the time to connect with your immediate environment. There is no running from existing environment, no excluding yourself from others. It's the time to engage with others. And these are not going to be superficial communications at all. What you're going to be discussing with other people, you'll be gathering information. These are commercial opportunities of networking. These are opportunities that are coming out of lively exchange with others in new and innovative fashion. It could be online networking with people. It could be through Zoom. It could be through other uh, ways of connecting, connecting with people on ahead of time ideas, which you right now may not have skill set for which you need to learn from people. Maybe you need to learn from people who are younger than you. Maybe you need to go for a course. This is an excellent aspect to, imp uh, to go for a course to enhance your skill set. You're sort of taking bull by the horn. If there is a gap in your skill set over here, you would go ahead and address that. And Saturn gives you the discipline to do very well in education right now. You, the, the information, as, as I said, the, the certifications or the information that you're gathering right now, it's, it's going to be the source of your success for long term. So if you see a gap in your information and your knowledge, you will go ahead and address that. On that note of taking bull by the horn, if there are challenges in communication, for example, sometimes we tend to brush the issues below the table. There are sometimes issues in relationships that we tend to not speak about. When Saturn is here, it, you cannot ignore issues. You cannot ignore the things that need to be said to the other people. So if you have been accepting things from the other people without saying anything back to them, you learn to deal with those challenges. You'll be learning to structure your thought process and your mind and your speech in some ways that you'll effectively address those conflicts. You'll be learning to express what you want, your perspective about things in an objective fashion. And this is your inherent quality. You're able to express yourself objectively. But what happens in a situation of conflict is sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes we don't confront that and Saturn does not have, will not have anything. Uh, if there's something in your mind that needs to be said and resolved for once, you would do it. And Sagittarius, another thing is uh, we will have Venus go retrograde in your house of relationships if from 13th of May to 25th of June. That is exactly going to do that. 
Venus retrograde in Gemini from 13th of May to 25th of June is going to get you to speak up when it comes to your partnerships to establish a fair communication between your relationships. So if with your with your uh, marriage partner or with your business partner, you have not been saying the things that you need to say. So you get the requisite reward of what you have done. You would speak up for it. You would speak up for your own honor at that time. And that has to be done before we move forward. Because the long term connections with these people can only exist on honesty. So you'll be putting structure to your communication with other people, you'll be putting structure to brainwaves, sort of these progressive topics and ideas and the future trends that you're getting, they can just stay ideas if Saturn is not here. Saturn gives you structure to create commercially viable businesses and commercial success out of those ideas. How do we convert them into something substantial, writing about it, marketing it, convincing people about it, the strategy to do that, this innate ability you have of quick thinking qu quickly connecting the dots between the trends and figuring out that yes there is a business opportunity but how do we implement it Saturn gives you the discipline to take the support of partners who know exactly how to do this connect with the people who are futuristic who understand this who have the skill set that you need to acquire you'll connect connect with them with discipline releasing a little bit of inhibition when it comes in asking help from them and you'll process all of that into a successful venture and this has to be unconventional uh, career it has to be unconventional in how you work hemming down in a single place in a traditional office space is possibly not going to work for you a contract has to have flexibility for you to think forward, for you to learn. For example, if you if you go and enroll for a course, you cannot be having a standard working hours, for example. Or if you were to update your skill set and at the same time go ahead and meet people and connect people, it cannot be while you're sitting and logged in into an office and working on a computer all day. So... You'll have a new way of functioning. The office structure would have to change for you. And this is not 30,000 feet. This is practical. This is real. It is time to create something really real, which is, which is sort of commercially viable. And Saturn in Aquarius is very, very gainful. You would not be creating a theoretical model of anything. You'll be creating something that is full of potential from commercial perspective. And all of this has one objective, to improve the quality of our mind. This is once in 28, 29 years of upgrade of our skill set and mind that happens. Saturn comes in our house of mind and knowledge and communication skills once in 28 years. That is once in our entire working life normally, or at least the mature working working life. And it shifts how we reconnect, how we connect with people, how we unite things, how we resolve issues. But the quality of the communication, you'll see that go up many, many notches. You'll see that your mind, the kind of product that is coming out of your thinking in quality is going to be not the same as before. You'll be learning to focus and concentrate, especially in the face of when there's so much new information coming your way. New strategy of learning, thinking, selling, discipline to write or sell. It, it's not when we are inspired to have light like, chit chat with other people. This is where discipline is given. We set time aside to talk to people and people set time aside to listen to us. This is where meaningful materials are created. You talk to people who add knowledge to you and the people who are ready to listen to your skill set. You'll be nurturing your mind and being rooted, being rooted in new technologies, coming out of completely different skill set you used to have before. You'll have to filter your influences. Who is your, in your surrounding that is sucking up your time? Saturn creates efficiency. So if there are people in your surrounding or there are wasteful activities that are taking up your time, 
you will be filtering the emails coming your way the information coming your way and you sort of become that kind of person who's able to filter the information and present what is useful to other people saturn in your house of communication uranus in your house of discrimination it comes together and creates useful information out of a bulk of data coming your way so one of the very good output of some this combination is that you can become a person who pursues a lot of information and figures out what is the practical use of that or actually on a mundane level many of you could become uh, one of those people who come up with innovative ideas on how to filter information and data and process it like the ai technology using ai to sort of process the data into something commercially viable for others uh the conflict let's talk about how these two are in conflict we understand how these two support each other saturn is giving you discipline uranus is giving you brilliant restlessness to do something new to get out of the old mode of your work to get out of your old mode of even health habits to some extent so you might undergo some amount of big uh, health shift and some of you might have already done that when uranus entered this house in last year because that is normally the first thing i have seen that happens people completely shift their health habits they completely shift what they eat uh, what kind of food they eat and and their health habits what kind of alternative healing methods or they suddenly from not uh, being out in the mountains or something they suddenly start hiking there are a lot of different things that start happening when uranus is in the 6th house you suddenly go into a health mode and this month especially the month of may is highlighting that as well it is highlighting healing it is highlighting doing something which is good for you for your body and this could be a little bit as everything is going to be with you it's going to be a little bit away from routine it will not be standard going to the gym or going to an old doctor or something to figure out what is the way to address health these are alternative healing methods and exercising that requires more freedom being more out and about being in a different fashion as compared to traditional workouts so you'll try to do Uh, you engage yourself in in healthy habits as well looking at how these two things conflict with each other uranus is in your house of discretion and service saturn is in your house of variety so what happens over here keeping first challenges keeping a routine becomes very tough how do you focus when you are going in 10 million different directions there are way too many ideas coming your way but we sort of don't know how to express that in an effective fashion to others there will be a gap between your ability to understand your own ideas and your ability to convey that to other people and that's why saturn is here saturn is here to teach you how to convince other people about your ahead of time ideas and create commercial success from them and then another one is that you want something like even as a work or a job you want to be in a job where you're walking you're out and about or it, you just don't want to be hemmed down in your work and saturn is saying we got to sit down and learn a new skill set it has huge amount of steep learning curve we got to sit down and dedicate time to it when you're feeling this restlessness how do you sort of sit down so you'll have to find a compromise this is inner tension this is not an external conflict that you're going to experience this will be two parts of yourself at conflict with each other one that knows we have to come up with new ways of expressing ideas to other and another one which is saying i have a brain wave i know what i need to do i don't want to be managed by somebody else i need freedom right now so there are two parts of you one which requires hard work and the other that wants freedom that will be at loggerheads with each other but this is a very very dynamic square squares are sources of inspiration they push us in a way that we can come up with things that we have never done before so you'll break free from a very old way of managing your career the kind of projects that you were engaged in the kind of work environment you were involved in the kind of way you handle your health before that is about to shift in a very very innovative fashion it will give you more freedom and you'll create more commercial success out of it because saturn is going to give you discipline to create commercial success out of that 
there will be a shift in job, possible innovation in existing job, which will require you to have a steep learning curve, different skill set. The health will require you to not bottle things up. You learn to speak up for yourself when you need to, especially in your partnership. And your road to success is to be with other people. So you'll have to learn how to handle conflict with other people in a healthy fashion so it does not affect your health in some ways. There will be a shift to approach when it comes to your communication and commercial life in general to improve the work environment that you will be in because you need to get support from the work environment you, you're going to be in. You will learn how to shift the strategy of working with other people because there might be a gap between your ability to get support from your co-workers and in the way you are asking for that support sometimes. So you might have experienced that friction with your co-workers or with your business partners in the past. We learn the effective way to communicate with them to get what we truly want in work from others who work with us. We learn how to seek support without going either ways, without losing our power or without sort of not giving the other person the, the requisite. And it's, as I said, this is your strength normally. As a science agitators, you take people along. You're the kind of person who is fair when it comes to uh, your position as a leader. But this is something that we'll have to improve, especially not brushing things below the carpet when it comes to conflict with the people in our life because they will show up in your relationship with other. This is Caden houses. But there is Caden houses are about growth. They're about growth. They're about flexibility where we are required to reconsider our approach to people. We are required to readjust, reorient how we uh, talk to our uh, to the people in our surrounding. And both are logical. So th this is like, you'll be, it's not psychological. It's, it's the way we say things. It's about the exact words. So this will come easier to you as compared to anything else. But, but one downside of that is that this is left brain. So you'll feel a little bit overworked in your mind to some extent. And that's why I said from health perspective, you'll have to create some ways of, you know, taking a few minutes out in some alternative healing methods, it's acupuncture it, to release the stress of over communication, to release the stress of over ideation, to release the stress of just the tension to deliver things commercially. You you will tend to over analyze things, which is something that you'll need to look out for. When Saturn is here, we tend to over analyze things. The person who wants to know everything about everything will be a Sagittarius for the next two and a half years. Because when Saturn is here, we are driven to do that. We are driven to find everything about everything. There's a pursuit of information, which you'll use for practical use, but it overloads your brain. Don't get lost over the details. There are innovative ways these days of filtering out information. Try to learn those uh, and, and you'll become a master of that in no time health issues that are affecting you figure out what is the psychological uh, underpinning for them there could be stress there could be overload of information not getting enough rest in the process there will be certain unresolved issues with your co-workers with your sibling with your business partner that can come up and they need to be resolved before you can have a good work life moving forward so Another thing uh, I wanted to briefly touch upon is Venus retrograde. I did talk about it. Venus will go retrograde from 13th of May till 25th of June in your house of partnership. This is a critical transit for you because you sort of will be clearing out any cobwebs when it comes to your partnership. It's, it's an important transit for you to reinvigorate certain romances or and I say romances because it's possible that you might have multiple options multiple options both in your personal relationship as well as in your business partnership when Venus goes retrograde we have to decide we have to decide what truly appeals to us what is truly for us and it is also the time when we learn how to voice what we truly want. First, we recognize what we want in a relationship, in a partnership or in a financial contract. And then we learn how to communicate it. Early part of June, there could be a little bit of a conflict which can raise this up. Venus will meet 
uh, Mars on 2nd or 3rd of June when some amount of conflict could come up. This could be related to a partner, to a business partner, but it is something that will help you move forward. Mars will be in your house of emotional strength. So you will be very, very strong. You, you sort of will be holding your ground when it comes to your relationships. But you have to decide. You have to decide which which of these relationship or what way do you want to go or what is the way to ask what you truly need in a relationship. The negative patterns and relationships, they will come into focus. They could be a old um, relationship that can come up in the focus. It could be a marriage partner. It could be an ex. It could be somebody who is your business partner. The very close one-on-one relationship will come into focus on a commercial basis. How you connect with your clients could also come into focus. It's a good time to sort of reconnect with your own self and see how do I want to position myself to others. What is the way I'm coming across to others? And it's a Venus doesn't harm us. Venus only creates more abundance for us. So having Venus retrograde does not uh, create any uh, financial damage to us. What it creates is it creates a new way of handling others. So we can what, get what we truly want from others. It's possible that you're not getting your fair share when it comes to your relationships or when it comes to your contracts financially and emotionally you might realize that during the venus retrograde and this is something that we need to streamline uh, before we fully go into eclipses eclipses will start happening in your house of relationships and in your sign when that happens faded shifts come we have to decide things so before that you'll have to figure out what you want are you asking what you really want in your relationships? There are certain relationships which will have to be released. There are certain that will stay. There are certain type of contracts that are not worth your time that will have to be released because they are not fulfilling you anyways. So you'll find that during Venus retrograde. Uh, I'll close this video on a positive note. We have a beautiful grand earth drawing happening between 15 to 17th of may in your house of substance material abundance there could be an opportunity of growth when it comes to finances when it comes to your work that could come across when jupiter is standing still on 14th of may around 17th 16th 17th of may something might be given to you which could just be at a very preliminary uh, basis it might be very initial at this time but it's an opportunity to grow in your work, in your career, in your financial abundance. And you'll be growing that over the course of next four months, starting from 14th of May all the way till mid of September, your ruler, Jupiter, which rules growth, will be going retrograde. It will appear to go backward. What it means is that for the next four months, you'll be working on some financial opportunities whose initial inkling is given to you around 15 to 17th of May and you'll be adding value to that. Jupiter this year is in your house of finances. All the things that you've worked very hard on creating in terms of your financial standing, this year you'll start seeing the results of that. You'll start seeing some uh, opportunities of growing from the hard work that you've done over the course of last two and a half years. And this could be some initial, initial shoots of that. And this is just the start. You'll grow it further. So look forward to that Sagittarius and I'll see you in the next video now. Thank you.